There's a thriving year-round ceramics community at the Long Beach Island Foundation for the Arts and Sciences. For an inside look, I visited with Jeff Rummely, the ceramic studio manager. Well, uh, the Long Beach Island Foundation was built in 1948, uh, and then it's gone through multiple editions. The ceramic edition was the first one off of the main building, and that was done in 1960. Um, so we've been around for 58 years. And it started small, started seasonal. Uh, it was only available in the summertime. Uh, a lot of the people that ran the studio were college professors, people that needed something to do in the uh, summertime. Um, so they would come and do, you know, run the studio, run the kilns, all that fun stuff. Uh, and then they would bring in uh, national artists to do workshops, and we've seen a lot, a lot of uh, the top notch of the ceramic community over the years. Uh, in a period of years ago, they decided to go uh, year round um, and uh, have uh, not only a summer program but also a winter program. So that's when they started employing somebody of my nature to run year round. Uh, what goes on here? Started in glass in Surf City uh, in 2000. Uh, did glass, uh, gambled and lost it all, and had to go uh, through a long process to go to art school. Uh, and along the way, somebody said, if you want to do glass blowing, you need to learn ceramics. And I said, well, OK. So uh, I went to o Ocean County College and took my first ceramics class. And while I took my first ceramics class, I took my first uh, drawing class. And my instructor was uh, Matthew Burton of the M.T. Burton Gallery, and within two months of taking that class, I was his apprentice and worked with him for seven years while I did OCC and all that stuff. Um, then I went off to Kentucky uh, to the University of Louisville, where I studied in uh, ceramics and glass blowing. Uh, came back, that I was done, taught in the, the kids camp program, um, and then I went off and did some uh, some glass in Philadelphia, and when the gentleman that was, had this job left called me up and said, hey, this job's available, and you should take it, so I did. Um, but yeah, we have winter residencies. Um, we also have associate winter residencies, which they have access to the studio, but don't have the allotted space that the full winter residents would have. And then we have students, which are year-round. Uh, all the time in a, any session class that we have make. They have their own wheel, should they want a wheel or a table. If they hand build, um, they get dedicated shelving um, where they can store their work, where nobody else is gonna touch it. Um, and 24 hour access to the studio so they can come and make at their leisure. Um, so when the muse calls, they can pick up the phone. And tell me about the kilns. You have more than one, obviously. We have quite types. a few kilns. We have uh, three round electric kilns that we utilize like all the time. Uh, every week I'm firing them at least six times. Well, the three of them get fired six times uh, cumulatively. Uh, I have a giant, giant gas kiln that's almost impossible to fill. Um, and that gets fired about once, uh, once every other month. Uh, I have a big uh, electric kiln for sculptural work. Um, I have a raku kiln, two raku kilns now at this point, uh, where we can raku and do all that fun stuff. We have pits for pit firing. We also have the newest edition, which is our soda kiln, which we throw in baking soda when it's up over 2,000 degrees and it creates its own glaze. And then uh, with a little alteration to it, it can be fired uh, with wood rather than natural gas, which is what we fire every, all of our gas kilns with. Um, and then that, the wood will lay down its own uh, glaze on the surface of the pot. Um, so that's a cool thing we have here. And then we also have other kilns and kids camp for that stuff. What do you think the most unique thing is about this studio here? Uh, the, uh, our firing options, I would say. Um, no other studio in this area has as many options as we do, um, which whether it be the electric, the gas, the soda, the wood, the raku, the pit, all that stuff. Um, the only place you'll find something like that is at a craft center, uh, like uh, Peters Valley, northern New Jersey, um, or I think Applewood Farms, or something, or Wheaton Village, but they don't even really have residencies or things of that nature. Um, nothing where it's accessible uh, the way it is here. 
Uh, so we're really unique in that respect.